Guys, it's me. Okay, my son thought he got my nose. He better not have. Anyway, here is part here is part two of the strawberry. And then you're going to go in and you're going to do some more cuts. And again, keep the pointed side of the leaf outward. So in other words, you can pinch that in your finger and put the flat piece over here. And I always curve the pointed piece. You can cross them over. They make it cute when they cross over. Okay. I really, I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Actually curve it up and over. Make the leaf a little curvy. Yeah. Make it look like it's curving in. I like that. And then I'm going to do one more leaf. Makes it a little hard when they want to get it. It's tiny. I've made them tinier than this. too far up. Okay, so there's my little strawberry with my leaves. I want to pull it up a little bit. Again, I like to curve them to give them some more dimension. Now, I use my little fingers. Let me have a new nails again. It makes a whole bit of difference. Here's that one that wants to roll. See how tiny? It just gives that more dimension. See, now I use, you can use your X-Acto, or you can use one of the little putty knives, and I go in and I smash it down just a little bit. And then I pull it up and give some dimension to all the leaves coming together. Like it's kind of pitted from the vine. And then you stick it in the oven. So there's my strawberry. And again, when you get done with it, I want to pull this back. I'm always going to be picky. When you get done with it, you want to take some sort of... Um, glue or something, not glue, you can use glue, I guess glitter glue you can get in there, but you want to get some sort of paint up in all these little divots, so that, because strawberry um, seeds are either yellow or very light white yellow, but there is a strawberry, okay, so there's your strawberry, so I'm going to stick this in my stick pen holder, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in the oven here shortly, so now moving on to the rose, um, you're going to take a chunk of the red and you're going to condition it a little bit and you're going to roll for me roll it on your table now I'm going to use this is a roller a clay roller and hard to roll back you got to be careful it's not totally like um, cookies so you got to be careful so I'm going to take since I already used that stick pen I need to get another stick pen and my front came off of this holder, so I'm gonna go. It's all plastic, don't matter. I'm gonna start with my center, and I'm gonna do a light sliver here. Make sure this is off. And I'm gonna pull that up. And we're gonna start rolling immediately up and around. Pull it up and around to protect it. I don't like that piece right there. I'll just pop it off. You can use the pearl one. This is your center, so your center is going to be a little more de delicate than any other part of it. But you don't want it to totally be covering it. So I'm trying to pull it back and roll it back right at the center so it does not cover my center. But be careful because this is your thinner spot right here. Sorry, Bubba. You're making my son tired. Okay, so I'm going to cut another piece. And we're going to put that over. Actually, I want to cut. I want to make it more of an oval edge. Put this piece over. I want more of an oval edge here, if you can see that. And I'm going to start making my petals. As you can see, there's my rose starting to form. There we go. And I roll it just a little bit on the edge as I go. Just a little, keeping the butt. If you're worried about it, you can always butt this up a little bit. Go 
Gotta be careful with your hands because your hands are warm. You don't want it to get too warm. Okay, and then we're gonna do another edge. We're gonna keep going until it's a really full, a really full flower. And again, I, there is no set pattern. I do these a lot like my melted roses. If you did not know I did melted roses, I do three different kinds. Look up Charming Custom Crafts and Melted Roses. I have like 600 and some videos, so if you're looking for something, you have to use my um, video channel. And you have to use a keyword to go with any of my videos. So as you can see, it's starting to form into a beautiful little flower. And you can see that I'm slowly starting to pull that back. And then I'm going to make some more. We just keep going. And I'm making eye slivers, if you're wondering. It's an oval shape like an eye. People chatting with me on my page here. So I'm trying to pull it up here where you can do I could do another really big one here. And you don't want to follow the exact edge of the last one. You want them to be off-centered. Somebody getting tired. No, I'm making one. Well, I'm sorry, baby. Not done yet. You can see that I'm pulling this one back a little different than the, the petal before. They're not, I mean, they're not hard to do, but they do take time to do. I'm cutting that away. I don't want that. So I'm going to do that section here. It's about as thin as a balloon, but obviously the petals are going higher. And I like to roll some back to give a different dimension there and pull it into another area. you can see as it's pulling more into a rose I keep rolling it just a little bit and it's becoming multi-layered tighter in the center looser on the edge you can see that I'm pulling it in a little bit to the edge now the next one will go around this way and I'll cut this one I'm going to cut this piece out here. Cover your mouth when you yawn, please. It'll help. Oh. You're going to make people have contagious yawn on the page, on the video. Okay, and then this is a bigger section, and that's what you want to get your petals to be bigger each and every time. And as I said, I was going to use the outside edge here. And I'm being a little more careful. As you can see, the petals are getting a little bigger. And so I keep going around and I turn them just slightly and start curving them as I keep going. Now they could stick out more if you want to do a little powder in it. It's a good way to get separate layers. And Roxy is mouthy tonight. And I'm making this into an eye, so if you're wondering what I'm cutting, I'm pulling extra pieces out of it. I'm looking for this piece right here. Okay, let's, this might be my last layer if I can do this just right. Pull it out of here. I'm pulling it. I gotta curve it over. And then you can probably put another petal in, and I think it needs another petal. I think it needs another petal here. Let me see if I can roll another one real quick while holding. Look how beautiful it is, and it's got that beautiful stone in the middle. roll this out. Now I'm doing this one handed. So, oh, oh. Roxy, mouthy, Roxy. And 
I'm actually going to probably use this whole piece. It actually came out perfect. Okay. Let's do this right here. Came out to the size I exactly wanted. Now watch me pull it in, tuck it, curve it, tuck it, curve. Roll a little bit in a smaller section. Shut up, please, Roxy. Oh, look how beautiful this is coming out. Came out perfect. Now, I'm tucking it and pulling it just a little bit more here. Now, the other half on this back half, is it going to be perfect? This is where sometimes leaves come in perfect on the back side. But then again, no flower is. But if you're seeing what I'm doing, I'm pulling it up a little bit in the middle because your petals are already formed. You just got to be very careful and have something that you can stick this in. If you've got like um, one of those baker pans where um, it's got holes, they, they fit perfectly sitting down in it. And I'm just going to curve and tuck it a little bit more. It's, it's past her bedtime. She gets really cranky, guys. So it is after 10 o'clock here. So I'm going to take, if I can here, so there's my red rose. I need to make me a couple leaves here. And usually I do two or three leaves, and this is about the same that I do for... Roxy, be quiet! It's about the same that I do for my... Um, Melted roses. And, you know, when I do them about the same amount, literally, it's almost the exact same way I do them. Obviously, it's a different um, type of stuff. Now, the, the petals are obviously different. It's actually, a, a, it's still the same thing, but more of an, a sliced eye. But, yeah, you know what, but to be honest, it pretty much is the exact same shape. See, as it's an eye, as you can see here. Can you show them that, Jeff? See? It is more of an eye. You still want the pointy end. This time you want the pointy end in because the pointy end is more in than out. So I'm going to go in. And I'm going to stick it in real tight up underneath it, if you can see. And then I'm going to curve the petal just slightly. And tight. I don't want it fully tied up in there. Now that's one rose petal. I'm going to sit and roll another one real quick. And I'm only going to do one more petal and then I'll do another one later when I finish it. And you guys, if you're on my Facebook page, you'll see the finished one. I'm going to make uh, quite a bit of them tonight. So, um, in different colors. Um, you, know, may, you may not see them exactly tonight, but there's a project I'm working on. You will see them again. And, um, as you can see, I'm doing the eye shape. Real easy. There's my other petal. And I'm going to put the thicker piece, as you can see, down in here. And it kind of covers. Again, I'm going to probably do another petal, a little bit wider one. And you can see how it's coming out. It's really pretty. And I'm going to do another petal when this is done. But this is the Zero Rose Petal. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, follow me on Facebook. Look for Charming Custom Crafts or Charming Crafts, Charming Custom. Or come see me on my Fry Market, M-A-C-F-R-Y. Facebook, guys. Peace out. Bye.